Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be creating another piece belonging to this current series I'm working on, which I've titled Calm Within Chaos. I must apologize for this clip being out of focus. I haven't quite decided whether or not I'd like to do a full tutorial on how I create these backgrounds, but I do like to include small little insights into my process in these YouTube videos I've been creating. Each time I create one of these backgrounds, I tend to change a bit of my process, so I'm very much still learning this style, uh, but I am having a lot of fun exploring and I learn something new every time I try. <laughs> One thing I must note about this particular style of creating these backgrounds is that it is incredibly messy. Lay down garbage bags or whatever sort of drop cloths you can find because you will get paint everywhere, especially all over your hands, so be careful of what you touch. One thing I'm loving about creating these backgrounds is how absolutely unpredictable it is. From even the point of you laying down the paint and the paint actually drying, the just the contours and the way the paint flows can be totally different. So a lot of things actually happen during the drying process. So you may end up with something completely different from when you first lay the paint down to when it's actually dry. So it's always a bit of a surprise to see what you'll end up with. Because I'm just starting fresh with oils and I haven't been using them that long, I'm starting to explore a little more with different brands, so I haven't quite settled on one particular brand yet. So this piece features a Luna Moth, which not only is one of my favorite moths, but also seems to be a common symbol found within a lot of art these days. I went with the title of Faded for this piece, drawing from the rather tragic life that these moths actually lead. The juvenile form of these moths is fairly active, lots of chomping on various plants and going through their various instars, preparing for pupation, but as adults, they lose their mouth parts and therefore cannot eat. They live their very short lives in search of mates before they perish. So a rather tragic story. Now that I'm getting a little more comfortable with creating these YouTube videos, including sort of my process for painting and inspiration, I'm always looking for new exciting ways to kind of amp up these videos. So if you guys have any ideas or things that you would like to see me do, please leave a comment and let me know. I'm contemplating doing little video introductions where you can actually see me, the artist, talking. Uh, so we'll see if that comes up in the next couple of videos, but if you have any ideas or things you would like to see from me, even ideas for videos or things you'd like to hear me talk about, please leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. I know you guys hear me talking about it a lot in my other videos with these Calm Within Chaos pieces, but it's always such a delicate balance between blending the subject in with the background, but yet having it stand alone as a subject and not just blend in with the paint of the background. So I don't think that's something I'll ever quite perfect, 
because uh, every piece is completely different. But you often see me playing around with those lines and those contours that already exist in that background of paint, trying to pull them into the subject and have different things bleed out, but yet still be sharp and defined and still soft and flowing. So it's, it's a very delicate balance. It's a lot of fun to create, that's for sure, but it's always a challenge. And we're all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And again, if you guys have any suggestions for things that you would like to see or things you want to hear me talk about, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to get to it. Thanks guys!